Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great day and thank you to everybody that has subscribed. Well, the weather today is kind of matching the way I feel. Um, I've had a really bad cold for the last couple of weeks and I don't, can't seem to get rid of these sniffles. So if I sound a little bit nasally, it's because I'm still sort of blocked up and oh, it's just horrible. So, um, but yeah, it's great to be back uh, doing some reactions and um, I've been looking forward to reacting to this one for a couple of weeks and this is the Mobiles Drowning in Berlin. Um, this is the official video so um, I hope it doesn't get blocked um, but if it does I'll come back and react to the audio version or maybe a studio version. Um, so the Mobiles, interesting little band, were formed in Eastbourne, that's East Sussex and um, that, this was in the early 80s. They consist of David Blundell on bass, Chris Downton and Russ Madge on guitars, Anna Marie on lead vocals, Eddie Smithson on drums and John Smithson on keyboards. Uh, don't know too much about this band, but this track Drowning in Berlin, it entered the UK Top 40 on the 9th of January um, 1982 and it peaked at number nine. It's um, yeah, so without further ado, uh, I'll let you know whether I know this actual track or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure if it was around at the beginning of 1982, I should know it. Um, but for sure, um, this is a video that I have never seen, just judging by the photo still. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to click play and uh, yeah, let's see what unfolds. <laughs> Sorry guys, yeah, um, I do know this song, uh, I recognised it as soon as the um, intro came in. Um, yeah, um, I can't remember that much about it, but <clears throat> I do remember it being quite strange, so I shall, just let me just take that back a little bit. Sorry, just going to pause it for absolutely loving this uh, song. Um, I do remember it, but I've definitely never seen this video. And um, I'm, I'm really, some of the effects in this video are great. I mean, that's just caught me a little. Uh, the girl falling through the mirror, but then it's water. That's a really fantastic effect. Um, yeah, this, this feels like it's a slow builder of a song. It feels like there's something really kind of dark and cold about this song. Um, I, I'm sort of getting the idea that it could be like a dream sequence, but it's, um, this, place, this Berlin place is definitely some somewhere that she does not want to be. Um, 
yeah, um, really interesting video. So that was the Mobiles Drowning in Berlin. Um, I still couldn't quite figure out what this song is about. Um, it could have been like a really weird nightmare. The um, the carousel, um, the carousel music halfway through. It just it just increased the sinister elements of this song. It just felt really uneasy. And um, I don't know too much about Berlin. I guess that um, at the time that this was made, I, th I think the Berlin Wall. I mean, obviously you had a Berlin Wall, you got East Germany, uh, West Germany, and uh, it just feels very strange. The whole song feels very strange, dark, and uh, I loved the um, effects, especially the mirror effect that really kind of that caught me out quite a lot. That The fact that she, I wonder how they filmed that. Um, I mean, I maybe I'll have to watch it over again just to try and figure out how they filmed that, but that was pretty cool. I like that. It felt... Watching this, I I do actually vaguely remember their performance on Top of the Pops, and that felt very sort of mime, fairground-esque, I suppose. But um, this had a kind of feeling of... Um, I'm trying to think of a genre to to describe this song and their appearance. Um, this is like a slight, has like gothic feel to it. Maybe like a film noir kind of feel to it. So gothic noir with a touch of new wave perhaps um but yeah very dark odd um <clears throat> song that uh, i guess i kind of feel a little bit discombobulated by it it's just just a very very odd odd song i do love that kind of carousel music in the in the sort of about three quarters of the way through i i completely forgot about that and um that's very um disconcerting it's um it's a really good atmospheric song to be fair. I'm not sure whatever happened to the mobiles following this um song, but it'd be interesting to find out actually. Maybe the Anna Maria on lead Anna Maria on lead vocals. Um I liked her performance. Uh, I liked her voice. Again, it's it was felt very stylized towards a certain genre of music. Um I kind of felt a sort of almost a Gary Newman. Uh, new wave influence there it's um yeah really interesting song and no idea what it's about i just have a quick um look at the lyrics um awake a dream in the distance a scream advanced entranced taking only a chance in and out my mind goes in and out he goes to show me it's cruel my trust in you Berlin is, is drowning me. So it's clearly a place that um, she doesn't want to be in, but maybe she's been enticed to be there and um, it's not really to her liking. Sometimes we can go to places that seem really interesting, lots of culture, 
maybe clubs, um, uh, maybe something you know a little bit out of the ordinary. And when we get there, it's it sometimes it's too much, or it's not how we felt it should be. We don't quite get the vibe, and maybe that this is a case of that enraged, incensed. There's no reason, no sense. Awake, a dream in the distance, a scream. Um, and then there's a, there's like a little German line. I won't try to pronounce it, um, but it I translated it actually before I did reaction because I just needed to kind of know what it said. And I believe it says, "Are you alone in Berlin?" Um, and that's that again would probably fit in with what I was thinking um, towards the beginning of the song. But it's somebody who's probably with people, but they feel very alone. Um, it feels like a very alien culture, perhaps, to them. Maybe they come from a small provincial town. I think this is just a very arty song, all in all. And um, uh, Berlin, I think, for the purpose of the time that these songs were coming out, and places like Berlin and obviously Vienna, they, they set a nice sort of backdrop. They give you a sense, a feel of how the song is going to be. And uh, yeah, and, and at the time, I guess, East Berlin in particular is quite dark. So, um, and the makeup, the clown makeup, it's, it's well, it wasn't a full clown makeup, but it's it was all a little bit unsettling for me. So yeah, I really enjoyed uh, Revis Tidnitz. I wasn't sure what this song was um, till it started. And uh, yeah, it's kind of brought a lot of memories back for me because there was some really interesting music at the beginning of 1982. And this one has sort of slipped out of my memory in that time. I think there were tracks like XTC, Since He's Working Over Time, um, gosh, uh, OMD. Um, it, it, was, it was quite a colourful but dark couple of weeks of music. Um, the IND uh, Made of Orleans, I think it was Made of Orleans, uh, that was quite a dark moody piece as well. So um, and then we had the Stranglers as well, which I think was around about the same time. But yeah, uh, enjoyed watching this video. I've never seen this video before. It was really enjoyable to watch and it gave an extra dimension to the song, I guess. Uh, didn't really shed too much light, but it was a quite a stylish video, I thought. So guys, let me know what you think. Join me in the comments below and yep, till next time, take care of yourselves.